Welcome to my channel, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be going through my top 5 favourite plants that I have purchased this year. As it's coming to the end of the year, I thought it'd be a really fun idea to go through my top 5 plants that I have purchased this year with you all. Um, so these are the plants that I have purchased throughout the year that have been on my wish list, um, the ones that I've really wanted and the ones that I'm still in love with today. <laughs> So I'm going to start with my first plant, which is the fiddle leaf fig. So this here is a little mini fiddle leaf fig. So I actually have three of these. Um, one next to me in my living room here and one upstairs in my bedroom. And then this little one, which is just really cute. I, this is actually the first fiddle leaf fig that I ended up purchasing out of the three. It was when I was on holiday, actually, in the UK this year. Um, Obviously due to coronavirus, we couldn't go abroad or anything. So I went on holiday um, quite locally and we decided to go shopping and I just happened to stumble across a plant shop and obviously you can't not go into a plant shop. So I went in and saw this and I've been after a fiddle leaf fig for ages. Preferably I wanted a bigger one, but obviously um, this was the only one that was there. And for some reason I couldn't, see one anywhere near me, anywhere near where I lived. Um, they were just really hard to come by and I don't really know why. So I decided to go for this one. I thought it'd be a really nice idea to have um, a smaller version that I could grow up and, you know, really make look really full and lovely from the start. So that is my first one, it's Fiddly Fig. So number two for me on my list is my Adinsoni. So this is the Monstera Adinsoni. Now this isn't my big plant. I do have a big plant up in the corner. Um, I will insert a clip here for you so you can see that one as well. This one is actually off cuts from that. Um, I actually did a video on it a little while back, um, you know, of some little cuttings that I'd taken, um, potting up my cuttings. So this is from that video. And I just wanted to show you this one today because I think it has come along so well. It's growing really well. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some of my stories about it and I just cannot believe in the few Maybe month or two that I've potted this. I think it's a month ago how fast it has grown and I absolutely love it um, I now have three ad um, Adding so plants, which is amazing um, all cuts off of my original So that's the one thing that I love about this plant. I just think that it is so fast growing I think that's beautiful um, my larger one I actually have climbing up a pole, but this one I do plan to sort of let fall and I like the vining aspect and the fact that one plant can look like two different plants from the different ways that they can climb and fall. So yeah, that's why I have picked the Adin Sonai today. Moving on to my third favourite plant is my String of Hearts here. Now I talk about my String of Hearts quite a bit in some of my um, videos and also on Instagram quite a lot. Now. I just absolutely love this. This is actually a variegated string of hearts and it is just my favourite. The way that it falls, um, I actually have it up on some of my hexagon shells just up to the side here when it's on display. And the way that it falls down, the white variegation as well on the leaves is absolutely stunning. I love variegated plants. Um, I've actually got quite a few variegated plants on my wish list for 2021, um, which I'm hoping to actually do a video on at the beginning of January. So please do click that subscribe button to follow me to check out that video when it comes out. Um, but yeah, so this is just gorgeous. It's actually growing really fast as well. So from here all the way around, all the green on the end here is all new growth, which is just amazing. Um, and I've had this three months, I think. Um, so yeah, this is a really lovely one. The purple underneath as well just adds a really nice colour to it. So number four on the list today is this Crinkle 8 here. It's a Hoya. Now this is actually one that I picked up. Um, it's a little bit dusty, it needs a bit of a clue. Um, this is actually one that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. So I bought this from someone, I think for about eight pounds. And it's absolutely beautiful. I... Once again, it's actually quite a fast grower, or I found so anyway. Um, I did have it in a little bit of a darker spot for a while and it wasn't doing so well when we're going into winter. So I have actually just moved it into the window so that it can get as much light as it can. Um, obviously the light isn't as harsh this time of year. So that really helps to have it up there. And it is just absolutely thriving. It's growing really quickly. It's just gorgeous and I've put it in this lovely terracotta pot so that the soil can really drain through and I just love the way that it looks. I love the crinkle on the leaves. It's definitely up there with one of my top plants. 
And last but not least is actually one of my newest plants. So this here, this little one here, is a Calathea Trio Star. Now this is absolutely beautiful. The pink variegation on the leaves is absolutely gorgeous. Now I actually did a video on this one as well, um, two weeks ago I think, and yeah, I basically had a bigger version of this. It wasn't much bigger. Um, I picked it up for four pounds and I actually separated this out. So I am giving some of these away as a Christmas present this year, which is really exciting. Um, but I am also keeping one for myself. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, this is just absolutely beautiful. So that is the Calathea Trio Star. That's it for my video today. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Please do subscribe to my channel. That will definitely make my Christmas. And I really look forward to seeing you in my next video and looking through to the new year. Ooh.